Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing okay. So this is a bit of a different video for me today and that's because I'm going to ski in tomorrow. I'm so excited and I'm trying out skiing for the first time and I thought I would just vlog. I'm currently unsure how this video goes but if I'm posting it then I've got some decent content to share with you guys. So I'm actually going to the French Alps. I'm going to Saint-Foy in particular and I've been there twice before and I've been snowboarding but this year I'm going to try out skiing because I wasn't that good at snowboarding in the first place. If I just put in some clips here of how I was snowboarding the past two years. As you can see I wasn't the best so I'm gonna try out skiing this time. I'm going with six other people from work and my boyfriend and a few friends so I hope you enjoy this trip and before I jump in with all the main content remember to hit the thumbs up button if you enjoy this video and to subscribe to my channel to see more of me some vlogs some makeup a bit of everything to be honest you can go have a look at my channel to see what I've already posted but let's get on into the video. So first I want to say sorry if the lighting is bad, I'm currently in my bedroom as I'm packing for the trip and I want to show you some things I got and I want to try on so I thought I'd record it. So have you seen, I've been snowboarding before so I do have a lot of the stuff already but there's a few things that extra I wanted to buy for this trip. So I made an order from Decathlon, this is like an outdoor and kind of sports shop if you've ever heard of it and this is my first ever purchase so let's open it together. So I actually ordered two of the same things. I just ordered two pairs of salopettes. I'm really bad at saying that word. Salopettes, salopettes. I don't know. Well, anyway, I've ordered some ski trousers in two sizes as I don't have a decathlon shop near me and I really wanted some white pair to match my coat. So I ordered a size 12 and 14. So I'm just going to try them on now and then we can see which one fits better and then I'll just send the other ones back. So I've just changed the camera angle a bit so you can get like a full length view. Uh, but these are the size 12. They fit, but they are a bit snug on my legs, which means I can't like pull them up as far as I want to. So the crotch is a bit lower, but I'm kind of worried that the 14 will just like be a bit too big. So I'm going to try those ones on and then we'll see which ones I'll take. But I'm always in between two sizes, which is a nightmare. I'll try on the 14s and see. Here are the size 14s. You might be able to say there's no difference. That's because there really is, to be honest. I've got more room on my legs, which means I can't pull them up more, so they are more comfortable. But there is a bit of a gap. So what you can do is he's got these Velcro kind of belt things and I can like tighten up. There's a little bit of space, but to be honest, I'd rather have more space because I'm gonna be moving. So I pretend I'm skiing even though I can't ski very well. So I feel like I'm probably gonna stick with this pair as it's being slightly big, it's not too bad and I can always pull them up. Or a lot of people can wear braces sometimes because you need trousers that fit your legs but braces will help them keep them up if they're like too big on the waist. But I quite like these and I have to show you what it will look with the rest of my outfit. Oh, but just for reference, these were like 40 pounds, I think. So they're really affordable for ski trousers as they can be really expensive. But let me show you my whole kind of look. So as you know, when you go skiing, you're on the mountain, it's really cold. I think the vibe of forecast is like in the negatives for like some days, even not double figures for us. So you want to wrap up warm. But when I've been out there before, it's really cold, but where you're moving a lot, you get warm. So you've kind of got to learn what works for you. And for me, I just have like having that, like a, a base layer on underneath my coat, but I don't any, like, like anything thermal. So I actually go for like a gym top. So I went to a sports direct and bought two gym tops. This is from US Pro. I just got two for 20 pounds, which was 
really good and then I can wear them in the gym and at home as well it's not just for skiing and the reason I like these they're really breathable like gym clothes are meant to like be mesh and breathable like there's a different like material under the armpit just to keep you cool and you've got a thumb hole at the end to keep your hand in and yeah I just love these I've got about three of them so this is perfect for the trip. Now I'm just gonna try on the rest of my outfit so I can show you. So this is the outfit with the trousers on, the coat on and my top. So as you can see, I wanted white ones cause I have got black ski trousers as well, but I wanted white ones to match my outfit better. So, but this coat does need a bit of clean so I will clean it before I go. But this is the look I'm going for. I've also got some white gloves. These are from TOG24 and they're new because my last ones did leak, so hopefully these will be all right. I got a few pairs of ski socks, which aren't interesting, so I don't choose them. They're also from Tog24. And then these are my goggles. These are from Edge, the same as my coat. I've had these for a while, like since I've been snowboarding now, but I have one like brown reflective one, which is for all, like when it's really sunny and you need a lot of protection. And then you also have this yellow one, which you wear when it's like super overcast, so you can't see as well. And then here are the other trousers, which I have been wearing in the past. So they're just black, but I thought the white ones will go better this year because I have a bit of white on my coat. And I just, I just wanted a cute outfit to be honest, but these are my clothes. So that's my brief outfit haul. I will show you more what I got like when I'm there on the slopes, hopefully if I get any good clips. But now I've just got to get on with my packing. So it's the next day, I got a bit distracted. So we're actually leaving today. We leave at half three and it's currently 12. And I've just got to pack my suitcase. I've got it all out on the bed, I'm ready to go, but I thought I'll show you before I put it away. And guys, are you an overpacker or an underpacker? Pretty sure I'm an overpacker because I'm going for four days. And I'll show you what I got. So this looks like a mess, but it's an organized mess to me. So obviously underwear there. Then I got my top. So I've actually got three short sleeve and two long sleeve and a jumper. Yeah, that's just for like every day or if we go out and when we're not skiing. Then I've got my lounge clothes, like a tracksuit. And then some jeans, again, if we go out. If we go along here, this is where my ski stuff is. So my socks, goggles gloves and then i've got base layers i've got like four tops two one pair of trousers but that's because i normally don't wear anything on my bottoms i just wear my cellar pets and then i got my black and my white cellar pets there my makeup bag toiletries and in there are my boots which i have to show you oh also i've brought bikinis because we are very lucky to have a spa a spa a sauna so these are my boots that i'm taking and i really love them they're so stylish waterproof and they walk pretty well in the snow um, I did get them from Pretty Little Thing a few years back, but I currently try not to buy anything from Pretty Little Thing as they're not sustainable and they don't treat their workers very well. But if I have any clothes from them, I'm obviously not going to throw them away because I don't want to waste or add more stuff to the landfill. So I'm now just going to put that all in my suitcase and then we're ready to go. So hopefully I'll get some clips of us traveling, but if not, because it could be can be stressful i will catch up with you when we're there it is very tiring and time consuming travel we are flying from heathrow to geneva so that's not long it's like an hour and a half flight so that's not too bad but then once we fly get into geneva we have to go to the french alps so we're going to saint foy which is like a three three and a half hour car journey so that is the tiring bit luckily we have a transfer so we don't have to drive but again, there's not going to be much to record or anything. So I'll probably meet up with you maybe tomorrow morning because we're also going to get back quite late at the chalet. We're going to be there, what, maybe one o'clock in the morning. So, yeah, I'll catch up with you when I do. On day one, I took to the green slopes, so this is me attempting to go down, currently learning snow now. Honestly, I thought I was going so fast, but you can see the concentration and tension in my body from how much I'm trying right now.
Then after a few runs, we stopped for a drink at a cafe right next to the green slope. Isn't the view lovely? And here is another clip, and this one is of me and my friend going down the green slope and you can see that she is much better than me. She again is a beginner, it was a first time skiing on this trip, but I just think she has more confidence than me at this point and look how tense I look with those bent knees going all the way down in smoke down. Then we stopped off and got some lunch. We got paninis and So I'm a terrible vlogger and I understand when everyone say it's sorry for being such a bad vlogger. Just did the same. Honestly had the most eventful day ever and it was only the first day, so I just feel crazy. It's currently what? Six? Yeah, it's six here. We're gonna go out for dinner, so I'm gonna do my makeup. And hopefully I'll get some clips. I recorded some clips earlier when I thought I was doing well. On a green slope, going slow, learning the turns. That went alright. And then we stopped for a drink. Then we went up to the top. Like another two lifts. And then we had some food. And then I was just so tired. We got up at eight. And this was about like two o'clock. And I was like, I can't do it. So I let the other people go in before me. And they went like higher up and then they met up with me and we came down but I just couldn't do it my legs are so tired I kept giving in I think I overdid it so much today and I'm kind of a bit bummed like I want to try better so tomorrow I'm going to make sure I don't overdo it but we'll see what happens and then I got to the last little blue slope so right at the bottom and I'm like just legs gave up and the guy came up to me like ski patrol and he was like oh are you okay you're the last person on the mountain I was like oh I'm really tired I want to walk it down and he was like oh okay and then he like walkie talkie to his mate and i was like he was talking french so i had no idea what he said and next thing he says he says oh your uber's coming they're gonna get you like a snow like what do you call it like uh the thing that go a snowmobile snowmobile so i went on one of those on the way down and honestly he went so fast i was like can you slow down i'm a bit nervous and he didn't so it's been really eventful and I just can't capture any of it because I'm like so busy. So I don't even know if I'll put this vlog up, but if it's up now, I'm sorry that it's not the best and hopefully I'll get better. we got another three days, so let's see what happens. Very simple, barely any makeup. Just put something off to cover up the redness. A lot of skincare because my skin's freaking out in this weather, but we're ready to go. I'm wearing this top and some black jeans and let's go get some dinner. So it's nine o'clock and I'm getting ready to bed. To bed? I'm getting ready for bed. I'm so, so tired. Yeah, we went out for food, got a pizza, got a four cheese pizza, it was delicious. But I didn't record anything or take any photos. One, I'm extremely tired. And two, I kind of feel like I'm socially awkward. Like I'm here with a few workmates and I'm not like extremely close to them and they don't really know I have YouTube and stuff. So, and I'm not really a vlogger, so this is very new to me. But I thought I'd still keep today's clips in, even though it wasn't that much. But I do have another three days. Yeah, we have four days here, and this is day one. Yeah, so we had three days. Now I'm going to take off my makeup, get my pyjamas on, and get into bed. I know it's like half nine by the time. But honestly, I need sleep. And we wake up at eight o'clock, and that's like super early for me. I'm normally such a ten o'clock kind of person. Yeah, winter sports or any sports is not my thing. I kind of am here for, I don't know, I love the trip, I've been here a few times now, but I don't know why at the same time, I'm just not very athletic, I don't know, I, I love like going to the gym and strength training, but my stamina is just not there, and I'm not sure if you're aware, but I um, suffer with quite bad anxiety at times, so that increases my heart rate as it is, and then doing activity on top of that, my heart rate goes through the roof and I just get tired really quickly, but been fun and hopefully i can go out again tomorrow and not like get super tired i'll see what i can do vlog wise and i will catch up with you in the morning
morning guys today is day two of our ski trip or shall i just say my holiday in the alps because i don't think i'm going to be doing that much skiing unfortunately i'm a beginner like i had one lesson in the uk which was like two hours no three hours and then i came out here and the slopes are pretty advanced they have like two green short slopes which you may have seen yesterday in the clips and i am struggling and i was out yesterday for like nine hours eight to nine hours so i'm so tired i did get ten and a half hours sleep but yeah i'm a bit tired so i'm staying in this morning and my friends are going out you may have seen some clips of them getting on to the ski lift i will be going out this afternoon to do a bit of ski gym but i'm just gonna take it super easy do a few green runs probably only gonna be out for like two to three hours i don't want to be out that long today i just want a chill day so tomorrow i can get some more energy and have another full day but not push it as much as i did yesterday because yesterday was such a crazy experience for me but i'm having fun and i'm just relaxing in the chalet before going out i did mention yesterday that i do have bad anxiety and today my anxiety is quite high that's why i did decide to stay in this morning because i'm just a bit anxious and i don't want to go out when i'm anxious because i don't think i'll be able to concentrate properly and i can end up hurting myself so i thought i'd just stay in for the morning calm down and then go out this afternoon so i will catch up with you whenever i feel confident enough to pick up this camera so this here is the green slope i just wanted to show you what we were practicing on day one and what we are practicing on again because as a beginner i stick to this slope i am now attempting to get up the ski lift so this one is actually a conveyor belt you just ski yourself on and it will pull you all the way up On this day, I was trying to ditch the snow plow as much as possible as it did tire me out. So I'm learning how to traverse here. So I go down in a snow plow and then as I create my turn, I go into parallel skis just to take some pressure off the legs. So I do think I am getting a bit smoother, but still, I'm not saying I'm perfect. I'm still learning at this point. Then after a few runs on the green slope, we stopped to grab some food and I got some Nutella crepes and they were absolutely delicious. Good morning everyone, today is day three, so like our last full day here. And oh my god, it is super, super overcast. And the mountains are in the clouds, it is snowing. Let me show you a few videos that I've taken. But yeah, it's just really cloudy, really bad visibility. So I'm not really going to go out this morning. I'm dressed, ready to go. So hopefully when it does clear up, I can go out. But I didn't really catch up with you yesterday. So the last that you saw was probably a few clips. So I went on the green slope and practiced some of my skiing. My boyfriend taught me how to traverse the slope, how to do snowplow turns and then go into parallel so I don't lose too much speed. So the next stage for me is parallel, but I'm still perfecting the last technique that I just learned. And then you obviously saw we had some crepes and then we came back to the chalet and we went in the sauna and then we just had some dinner at home we made some spaghetti bolognese and we just played cards against humanity it was really chill didn't really want to record much as i just wanted to enjoy the holiday and i didn't want to like live it through my phone all the time if you get what i mean 
so that's why i didn't record that much currently in the bathroom as my boyfriend is taking a nap honestly day three we're all tired we're all achy and yeah we're just gonna take it easy today because as you see it wasn't that clear but we'll see what happens and then if i do go out i'll get someone to record my bad skin skills but i think i am getting better so yeah we'll see let's get on with the day me again so i'm not going out it's too snowy and i'm too nervous i'm a beginner skier and i'm just not here for it let me show you what it looks like and why i don't want to go out so here it is all snowy i mean it looks beautiful i've been out for lunch and it is really nice i will go out maybe to the shops or something but i'm not up for skiing today i'm just such a beginner and i do like it but i just haven't got the confidence for it you know but hopefully i will be able to go out in the morning tomorrow before we go home so i just realized i haven't really showed you my ski outfit the entire trip no, I'm not skiing today, but I'm going out in the snow, so I've kitted up. So, so pets. Oh, I think I showed you earlier in the video my new ones, my white ones. These are my black ones I've had for a couple of years. Same with this and just a gym top. And i got coat and my goggles. Um, you've probably seen me on the slopes with what I wear. But yeah, so I'm going out now to grab a hot chocolate and do some shopping for dinner. So let's go. I am now all ready to go out for a meal. I've just had a really super chill day, nice and cozy. I put in some clips of the view and the weather. It has been overcast and then super snowy. And I just haven't wanted to go out, chill day, but it's been really great. Hopefully I can go out tomorrow morning, but this is the outfit for today. Uh, trousers, a new look and top, a new look. Love that shop, my favourite. I should really do a new look haul at some point. Yeah, we're going out for a meal tonight. We are going to one of the fancy restaurants on the ski resort. And hopefully, maybe I'll get pictures, maybe I won't. Because I don't always live on my phone. But if not, I'll catch you up tomorrow. And yeah, we'll see what happens. Here is our dinner. For starters, I got a French onion soup and then I got a scallop pasta, which was absolutely delicious. The food was so fancy. We even got a flaming creme brulee to finish with a shot of Bailey's. Absolutely exquisite dinner needed after all the exercise. Today's day four, the final day, and I've already been out, but I'll add the clips in now. Back to my favorite place, which is the green slopes, and this time I am recording my boyfriend. So this is him making his way up onto the ski lift, which is a conveyor belt, but it's a bit more difficult for him as he is a snowboarder instead of a skier. He's looking so smooth here and to be honest it's actually harder for a snowboarder to go down on this green slope.
This has me coming down a bit more confident this time. So here, I had so much more confidence. I felt like I was going really fast, but to be honest, I'm still going quite slow. So just like before, I'm learning to traverse the slope. So going across the slope with parallels, initiating my turn with snow plows, and then trying to get them back into parallel. Also, can we just comment on how cute this outfit is? I absolutely love it. Oh, she fell. Did you fall? I've had a really good day. Learned so much. Quite sad to go home, really. Currently packing up, getting change, and then it's time to travel. So let's go back to the UK. And it's actually two days after I've got home. We got home really late, like gone midnight on Monday, and today is Thursday. So is it two days, three days? Something like that, doesn't matter. Um, it actually turns out I had a lot of content, so I'm actually going through the content now and editing it and I think it's turned out to be a great vlog. I don't want to talk so long as I already know this vlog is half an hour long. I just wanted to thank you so so much to get into the end of this video. I know it's been a long one and I've loved creating it and I can't wait to create more vlogs but we're gonna have to wait a year for the next ski vlog as ski season is coming to a close. Lastly, before you click off this video, remember to hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video and to subscribe to my channel to see more fun holiday vlogs and makeup videos and just a bit of everything, you know, just comment down below what you want me to create. Anyway, I love you guys so, so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!